Howdy y'all and welcome back. Taylor's Smoke Wagon. New year, new gun. And this is the first Uberti that I've had in quite a few years. It's actually the fifth Uberti that I've had in my possession. I uh, started out cowboy action shooting with a pair of three and a half inch Cimarron Thunderers. They're kind of a gun that never was. They're sort of modeled after the 41 caliber Colt Thunderer except that was a double action gun. These were single action only. And that little three and a half inch barrel made cowboy action shooting challenging. So I ditched those and got a pair of Stoger, like the very base model gun. You've seen them. They've got the matte black finish with the brass grip frames, which also was never a thing on single action armies. And they were rough. They're like 400 bucks, but they were rough. So I polished them up as best I could, put wolf springs in them, ended up getting some aftermarket lowered hammers and sanded off all that weird matte finish and made them kind of like a battle-worn kind of patina finished look. They were weird, but they worked. But this is probably about as good as it gets without stepping up to an actual Colt or USFA or something like that. It's Taylor's factory tuned, out of the box, cowboy action shooting competition gun. So it has their, kind of their version of an action job. I felt better, but it's pretty nice right out of the box. And this has the Navy grip, which is just an ooch longer than a standard grip. Uh, it's got five and a half inch barrel, which I've never owned a five and a half inch barrel gun before. My uh, Ruger Vaqueros are four and five eighths. So this just ooches it out a little bit more without going all the way to the seven and a half inch, big, long, crazy guys. So curious to see if it's noticeable at the range, but let's take this over to the table and get a closer look at what makes this a little different than a regular Uberti. All right, so the box is just a plain old cardboard box. A little bit of literature and a lock and a semi-decent quality soft case that they've included and that's kind of nice i guess and let's get into the gun itself if you're familiar at all with your birdies right away you will notice that this color case hardening is much nicer than you normally get i mean it is really really exceptionally well done just gorgeous all of the fit and finish and attention to detail is definitely a step up from your standard kind of stoger mainline uberti offerings just really 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 well done gorgeous blue deep deep well done blue very nice checkering very positive checkering on the hammer spur that kind of jumped out at me right away and a big feature that makes the smoke wagon the smoke wagon is the widened rear notch notice there is quite a bit of daylight on either side of the front sight post there normally on these you get like a little v notch at the back and kind of a skinny pointy front sight post and this has a nice wide front sight post Nice wide notch at the rear. So that's very cool. Obviously, you've got the tailor tuned action job. Forgive whatever that crazy bird sound is in the background. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, obviously, you've got the checkering going on here, which is very nice. When I used to shoot cowboy action shooting matches in the sweltering Houston summers, I had smooth gripped guns and I would use dirt as like chalk to help kind of help it grip 
So having some texture on there is very nice. And let's go ahead and put some snap caps in it. And you will get a quick lesson in how we load for a cowboy action shooting match. You shoot five in the cylinder. So you load a chamber, you skip one, and then you finish out your five. If you're a little bit OCD like me, this is nice because it leaves your boxes like you either, if you've got a box of 50, you're pulling them off in rows of five, or if you have a box of 100, you're doing five at a time, and it keeps your rows nice and even and instead of doing six, and then your rows get all janky. And anyway, it's a brain thing. So, <laughs> so we'll close it. And now I'm dropping the hammer on an empty chamber. And so that's just the way they want you doing it in single action shooting society. This is, this goes back to the era when your hammer spur was hard mounted on the spur, on the, the spur was hard mounted on the hammer. And now these have kind of a little bit of wiggle in there. So allegedly, if you were to drop this on the spur with the loaded chamber, it won't go bang. I don't really trust that, but uh, you know, they say it works. So I guess it does, but these do not have a transfer bar safety in them the way that a Ruger Vaquero does. So that's why just to keep it universal, like across the board, they want everyone loading five. And so I've just sort of stuck with that habit over the years, but let me go ahead and dig out one more. And let's go ahead and ghost that trigger. So there is, if I really, really work it just as slowly as I can, I will get, it's almost like you have to use your imagination. There is just, it's not even a millimeter of creep. Barely. I mean, just, just barely some creep, but not really. These triggers, they're awfully nice. There it is, right there. That was the creep. I'm trying to get my finger out of there so you can see the trigger itself. There it is, right there. I mean, that's your creep. <laughs> but under any kind of normal like circumstance, you're not going to feel that. It's just a like super, super crisp, clean single action break the way you want one. All right, so that's it. Hey, real quick before I forget, if any of y'all happen to come across any large pistol primers available out in the world, please hit me up through the socials, message me, whatever, send smoke signals, let me know. <laughs> I'm getting kind of dangerously low on my 45 Colt but I'll be getting this to the range as soon as I can, hopefully get it in some friends' hands as well, get their impressions, we'll compare it with my old model Ruger Vaqueros. I'll have a whole separate video on that coming up soon. And eventually later this year, I'll be giving this away in a drawing. 25 and $50 supporters will be eligible. That's all I got for today. Until next time, be easy, y'all.